Hey guys, let's talk about renaming your inputs, outputs, buses, and inserts in Pro Tools. <laughs> All right, so this is a really great feature. I haven't taken enough advantage of it yet. I really should become more organized with this feature. But renaming your inputs, outputs, your buses, your inserts, it can really help you stay organized while working in Pro Tools. So all you have to do is go to Setup and then I.O., and then you have your input tab, your output tab, your bus tab, and your inserts tab. And you can see that I've already renamed some stuff here. So my inserts for the most part are just, you know, numbers, right? And that's the default. So you can see here that I renamed my insert 78 and I added Neve 5254 to it just so that I can really easily know that that's the insert that I should use if I want to use my Neve compressor, which is a hardware compressor. So it's outside of Pro Tools, it's outside of the computer. So this can be really handy, especially if you have a small studio like mine where you don't have very much actual outboard gear, you don't have very much actual hardware. And so in my studio right now, this insert every time is the Neve 5254. And I do have plans to get a little patch bay and be able to patch different things in. Um, I think what I would do at that point is have this insert 78 and name it like you know, um, outboard gear or something like that. But for now I have it named 5254. It can also be really handy. I haven't done this enough here in the buses actually. Yeah, I haven't done it much at all, but you can rename your buses too. So for example, if you tend to use bus three and four for a reverb, aux every single time. You might want to rename it as your reverb box. If you tend to use five and six every time for something like a, a drum aux, then maybe you want to rename that drum aux, right? So it just depends on what you're doing, what your workflow tends to be like. But that's a really great uh, way to use it on your bus channels. And then I've renamed stuff here for mostly for my hearback system, for my headphone system. So HB stands for hearback. But especially if you have multiple outputs, you might want to rename things here. And then on the input side of things, you might want to rename things based on what you have going into your system. So I know, for example, in my system, line five and six right now are physically patched into my Great River preamp. So Great River Channel 1, Great River Channel 2. So I might want to rename this so that it reflects that, right? So I can really easily find that input when I'm recording. So if you want to rename any of these, it's really simple. All you have to do is double click on them and it opens up that like, you know, typing field, whatever you call that. And then I might just go Great River one to two. And I kind of like to leave the line five to six or like in the inserts, you know, I left insert seven, eight, I believe it was, um, but it's up to you. You can just delete that stuff if you want. I kind of like to be like better safe than sorry type of thing, but that's all you do. And then I just hit enter to, to set it into place. And then once you're done, you can just hit okay. And that's it. And another thing you can do is if it's a stereo input, so you look over here, you can see there's an L and an R that's for left and right. You can open up this little triangle and you can actually rename them. So I could be like Great River, you know, if one was left and one was right, I could rename them left and then right if I wanted. It's whatever helps you stay organized, right? But you can rename the individual mono paths as well. I'm going to revert this back and hit enter. And that's it. So that's it. That's how you rename your inputs, your outputs, your buses, or your inserts. You can also do this for other things within your IO setup, but these are the ones that I tend to rename the most. So I figured I'd show you guys the process on those, but I hope someone out there found this helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Cato Noise. And my patrons get access to additional content. Uh, we have a Discord server we're all hanging out on. We have a book club that we're doing on Sundays. We're reading books all about audio and music production. Right now we're doing Bobby Ozinski's workbook. And... Other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. Gosh, I'm, like, recovering from COVID right now. So I um, – my first positive test was on Tuesday, and today's Thursday, so I'm all stuffy and stuff. But I'm starting to feel better, so I figured I'd want to crank out some videos here. I'm in crunch time right before grad school starts. So my grad school starts in July and it's June right now. And so I have a whole bunch of work that I want to get done so that I can kind of focus on grad school for at least the first month. That's kind of my big goal. So a lot of my videos coming up soon are going to be quick pro tools, tips and tricks, things that I can kind of crank out really quickly. But I do have more fun videos planned. I hope these are fun and helpful, but I do have other videos planned for after July for you guys, things that are more like in depth, like mixed tips and stuff like that. So that's where I am right now.
stuffy and tired. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye.